hey guys welcome back to my channel how are y'all doing today i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so this week is special because i got this idea because i don't really talk about showcase or use enough of my affordable products and with everything going on we're still well, I'm filming this like a month early. So we're right now, as I'm filming this, we're still dealing with COVID. We don't know if people are going back to school, not going back to school. I know a lot of people who are in college watch me. A lot of y'all are on a budget. And a lot of y'all are just product junkies who like to try anything. It doesn't matter how expensive it is, how inexpensive it is, what have you. I have a lot of inexpensive products that I've been wanting to use and wanting to showcase. So I said, why not just do an entire week of affordable products and affordable content? So that's what we're doing today. So today is Sunday and we are kicking things off with my top six affordable deep conditioners. And honestly, I thought this was going to be difficult, but then I really thought about it and I was like, and it really ain't that hard. One, because a lot of affordable deep conditioners they're good, but they don't really, they don't really, you know, get the people going, right? But there are a few that I have in my collection that I feel like are absolute staples that one, you should have if you're a frugal natural, two, you should have if you are in college because deep conditioning is great, but it can get pricey. And three, if you are just a regular, regular, schmegular natural, it's always good to have affordable options in your stash. You never know what's going to happen in life and you need to know what good affordable options there are. So that is what we are going to be talking about today to kick off this week of affordables. So if you're interested in seeing my top six affordable deep conditioners, then just keep on watching. My benchmark for this video was $10 and under. Only one of these hits the top part of that, but everything else is below. So let's go ahead and we'll start with my first one. This is the Sauce Beauty Deep Moisture Mask. They're guacamole with, with avocado, argan oil, and manoi oil. So I did a self-care Sunday on this a while back. I've used it a few times since then. And this is an awesome deep conditioner. First of all, this smells so good. It has a really nice fruity scent and the consistency is very thick. This is a 12 fluid ounce container, even though it looks like it may not be. It's just a very different shape. First of all, this is really good slip. It really does coat the strands. I really like the way it coats the strands. I like the way it moves through the hair. And when you rinse it out, it's one of those deep conditioners that makes your hair feel a little weighty, um, a little heavier than it went in, you know? It leaves the curls kind of with that lush situation going on. It softens the hair, but not too much. This one in particular is definitely a purely moisturizing deep conditioner. Um, this is not something that is going to give you like a moisture protein balance or like a protein boost, but it's so good. I love this so much. Um, but again, like I said, I don't use my affordable products as much as I should. I'm always wrapped up in like my She Scent Tits, my Curl Origins, Soul Tanicles. Now my mind is on Chocolate Kinks and Curls, like... You, you get the picture, right? So I definitely need to use this more because it really is an awesome deep conditioner. And I think I'm going to add this to my list of summer stash products. Um, but this is really nice. It's very moisturizing. It just makes the curls look lush and vibrant and happy. This does have silicones in it. You guys know, I don't care, but some of you do. So there we go. But we're and this next one is like an OG favorite. I really need to use this again. It's It's been like a few months since I've used this, um, but I do pull it out periodically. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Mask from the Honey Treasures Collection. Garnier Whole Blends is definitely that wave 
for someone who is on a budget but wants that like apothecary type feel you know like you need drugstore but you don't necessarily want to feel like it's drugstore you know Garnier whole blends is definitely on that wave smelling this brings back so many memories because I was using these Honey Treasures products heavily back in the day. Um, I remember when they came out and I think me and my mom found this entire line at Sam's Club. Like they had a big pack. It had like the giant conditioner and the giant shampoo. And then it had this deep conditioner. And at the time I had no clue that they had a deep conditioner. And I have been using this for a very long time. Um, every now and then I'll be like, hmm, honey treasures, and I'll go and I'll pull it back out. This is a really great deep conditioner. Again, this does have combs in it, just for those of you who may be interested in knowing that. But I like it because it does have that honey in there. Um, there's some propolis, there's royal jelly in here. There's also some glycerin. This for some reason, like it just feels so luxe. I don't really know why. I like it because even though it's moisturizing and I don't, like I don't see anything in here that would lead me to believe that it's going to give me any like strength or anything. But it does, my hair does feel reinforced after I use it. It doesn't feel like I have protein in my hair, but it does feel slightly reinforced. It doesn't overly soften my strands, and I really like that about this deep conditioner. So if you haven't tried this, all I'm saying is, this is definitely like a staple. Um, it's one of those products that I will forget about from time to time, but I go back to it and I'm like, why did I stop using this? And I feel like over the years, like I've never not had this. You know what I mean? Like whenever I run out, I go buy more. Um, and I feel like that says a lot considering how many products I have continued to accumulate over the years. So um, the Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures Deep Conditioner is bomb. They also, I know they had an avocado one. I don't know if they still make it. I don't have it anymore. Um, but that was really good too. And another one from Garnier, this is from their curl or like hair treats collection. Um, they came back, they came out with this a couple of years ago and they were first in like these mini containers and they started making big guys of them. And the one I have here in front of me is the damage repairing treat with papaya extract and y'all. Y'all. This stuff right here is so good. Um, it's movable, but it's definitely thick. It smells like a papaya and mango smoothie. This is so good. This is another one that I just don't use enough. Um, what I like about this is it doesn't really feel proteiny. You know what I mean? I feel like the extracts that are in this really allow your curls to plump up. Um, and it kind of gives them that feeling of being reinforced without actually giving you a dose of protein. You guys know I like that. My hair reacts really, really well to extracts. So I'm a huge fan of this. I also love it because one, it can be used as a deep conditioner, but this can also be used as a leave-in conditioner. It works really well as a leave-in conditioner too, even though I don't really use this a lot as a leave-in because it is a little thick for my strands. Um, I prefer the way that this coats my hair for deep conditioning purposes. It soaks into the strands so well. It just makes your hair, like when you rinse it out, it looks like deep wave fresh out of the back. Like it just does. Like it, it looks like, is this really my hair or did I like get this from, you know, somebody's beauty supply? Like that's what it'd be looking like. And I absolutely love the results that this gives. I remember back when I first tried this, I was still like, I was at the end of my buildup issues and I was like, you know what? I I didn't feel like it did anything and it didn't because I still had buildup on my hair. So after all of that, I decided I wanted to try it again because why not? And it's great. You get 13 and a half fluid ounces, which I appreciate because you really can actually like 
use this as a deep conditioner and as a leave-in and really get your bang for your buck. There's enough product in here to actually do both, which I really do appreciate. So if you haven't tried these repairing treat products, I highly suggest that you do. And speaking of, I have a Garnier video coming tomorrow, so make sure, make sure you're tuned in for that one. But yeah, Garnier Damage Repairing Treat, this is dope. Now this one I'm talking about, it was discontinued, but it was brought back under a different brand. And that's why I'm showing it to you guys because I feel like I can tell you guys about it and you can still go out and technically get the product. There's just a different name. And actually, let me pull that up so you guys know exact the exact name of the, the replacement of it. But I have in my hand, and if you guys were really watching me like last year, you know what I'm about to say. This is the Silk Elements Pure Oils with Eucalyptus and Honey soothing deep treatment mask when i found out that this was di getting discontinued i went to every sally beauty in my area when i say every single one i say like the one on haynes mall boulevard um i went to the one off peters creek if you if you from around here and the one off of the university sis went to all of them and got everything they had that was left because this is amazing this is a, is a product that I don't just use, but my brother also uses. So when he wants a good deep conditioning, he's like, Brie, I want that, I want that good, good. And I'm like, oh, you want that good, good? I'm gonna give you that good, good. So this is what she looks like. Kind of has a yellow thing going on. Um, this has eucalyptus, there's honey, there's some banana fruit extract, avocado, cocoa butter. Um, again, this is another deep conditioner that has cones in it doesn't bother me um but this stuff is so good the texture on it is so thick um to the point where you think it may be off-putting but it smooths into the strands so well and when you sit underneath your deep conditioning cap whatever you use to deep condition and just let it set in your hair I suggest using this with heat I prefer it with heat let that melt into your strands and baby you think that that garnier is deep wave fresh out the pack oh this is like deep wave fresh out the pack on another level like i just it's so good i love the texture of it i love the way it functions in the hair it makes your hair feel so soft and supple and lush i really enjoy this and i like I really like this because even though it is a very heavy product, it gives me the results without giving me buildup, which is really important for me and my fine strands. So I highly suggest this. Now this is under Texture ID and it is the Scalp Relief Deep Treatment. I'll put it on the screen here and I will an make a little annotation in the description box below. So. Silk Elements and Texture ID are both Sally Beauty in-house brands. You can't get Texture ID anywhere else. They are both brands underneath Sally Beauty. And so when they took this away, they kind of infused it into the Texture ID products. So there are products that were underneath this Eucalyptus and Honey line from Silk Elements that are now underneath the Scalp Relief line that is now texture id so um one of you guys actually put me on a while back and the ingredients are exactly the same it is the exact same product there's no there's no deviation in ingredients it's not like certain ingredients are like the same but they're different they lie in different places in the formula no these two have the exact same ingredients um, and I did go into Sally Beauty to smell the new one. They have the exact same scent. The texture is exactly the same. So those of you who are sad about this going because a lot of us had like a little pity party for ourselves because we love this stuff. If you were sad about losing this, it is back. It's just in texture ID now. So even though I'm showing Silk Elements 
really what you need to go get is Texture ID Dry Scalp Relief Deep Conditioner. It's the exact same product. I was devastated when they took this away because this is definitely like, for me, an affordable hair care staple. I feel like I could just have this. Like if I had to go completely like bare bones, affordable products, like I ended up in a situation where I couldn't afford my She Scented or any of the other things that I love. I feel like I could just have this and then try to find like a, you know, an inexpensive um, protein deep conditioner and call it a day. It's a dope deep conditioner, under $10. I mean, honestly, you really can't go wrong. All right, so we're down to the last two. And we'll start with one that I don't give enough love at all. I need, I'm about to put this aside because I need to use it. And this is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask for natural coils and curls. There she goes. There she goes. Y'all, this deep conditioner Look, just in general, I feel like the African Pride Moisture Miracle products are a frugal natural's dream. Everything except for the chocolate conditioner. I've told y'all that chocolate con conditioner was like, it was like, y'all, y'all playing, right? Like everything else is so good and that chocolate conditioner just did not want to get in, into formation. But this deep conditioner, honestly, if you have this, you don't need the chocolate conditioner. I would shampoo and go straight to this. This is dope. It has a beautiful texture. I don't remember if this has cones in it or not. Yeah, it does, like midway through the list. Um, it's thick. Honestly, I really can't tell this has cones in it. Like there are some deep conditioners that you can tell. Like the... Um, the pure oils and the sauce beauty ones, you can definitely tell. Um, the Garnier Honey Treasures, you can't really tell. Um, and the Garnier Papaya one is uh, silicone free. This is one of those that I feel like you can't really tell. I really like it because you can tell that there is that Moroccan clay in there. I'm pretty sure when they say Moroccan clay, it's Rasul clay. Um, yeah, Russell Clay. You can tell that it's in here. Um, the smell on this is a little bit strong, though. It may not be everybody's favorite, but it was very interesting because when you're applying this to your hair, um, you can feel that there's clay in it. There's this distinct feeling that you get when clay products touch your hair. And you can feel that with this, but it doesn't make the product lack slip. You still get really great slip. This, listen, you do want to use heat with this. When they say heat activated, the heat really does bring out the best in this product. When you sit up underneath the heating cap and you rinse this out, baby, this is so good. Like this, it's so good. Um, it makes the hair feel really, again, lush, soft, supple. It's not overly softening. And it really, really amps up my curl pattern. Like it just really brings out the best in my curl pattern. And I love that about this product. I feel like this is extremely underrated. People really talk about the pre-shampoo. Um, and I think people talk about the leave-in a lot just because it's a big ass thing, a leave-in conditioner. <laughs> um, this doesn't get the love that it deserves. The entire range, aside from the rinse out conditioner, is just dope. I haven't tried the newer stuff like the foam and the gel cream, but I think I might get those too, just to try them out. But like, you can't go wrong. Like with just the initial launch of these, you really can't go wrong. The pre-shampoo just gets all the tangles out. The actual, the honey moisture shampoo is like delicious. It, I went through that shampoo so fast because I could not stop using it. It was so good. Um, that is amazing. You go in with this and it just makes your curls feel like butter. And then you go in with one of the leave-ins and it just reinforces everything. The curl cream is beautiful. You can use it alone. You can use it under a gel. 
It's an amazing line if you are looking for something that is just purely affordable. Um, and this deep conditioner is just dope. It makes your hair feel so good. This has so many great properties to it. Again, like I said, you really can't tell that there's cones in it. Um, I feel like there's definitely levels to that. This is one that you really can't tell. I noticed the clay in it more than anything, truthfully. Um, and so, especially like those of you who have been playing around with clay products, if you don't know where to start, you, you want some benefits of the clay, but you don't know how far you wanna go. This is a really great inexpensive, inexpensive option. Or if you've been wa watching the rest of us play around in these expensive clays, and you just like, that sounds great, but I can't float that. Don't touch the Myel one, get this. It's 10 times better, it has way more benefits, it has a slip, and it's gonna have your curls looking lush, not dry and dusty. And this also does not pull your hair out, so. I highly suggest this, it's an amazing deep conditioner. So I'm about to put her to the side cause I'm going to challenge myself to use her more. Right, and then the last one, this is the only one out of these that I feel like I use way too much. I actually had to make myself stop using this because I was using it so much that I was forgetting about everything else I had in my collection. If you really know me, then you know what deep conditioner I'm about to talk about. That is the Eden Body Works Split and Repair Mask from the Almond Marshmallow Collection. Y'all, I love this. I love it so much. It's one of the only reparative, like truly reparative deep conditioners um, in an affordable price range that I really do rock with. First of all, I love Eden Body Works because she always gives you 16 fluid ounces when it comes to deep conditioners. And so that right there just makes it even more affordable, right? I think this runs for like either $8.95 or $9.95. I don't know if the price has gone up. But either way, it's absolutely attain attainable. If I can walk in and get a deep conditioner with a $10 bill, I mean, you know. I also really appreciate the ingredients on this too. This is packed with sweet almond oil. This also has a lot of DTMS in it too. There's some marshmallow, some coconut, aloe vera, <laughs> aloe vera, castor oil, um, and there are some there are some proteins in this too. I use this so much in so many ways. You guys know I have mad backups of this on deck all the time. I love to use this as a deep conditioner. Um, I will put this in my hair, sit underneath my cap for like 30, 35 minutes and rinse it out. I love the smell. It has a beautiful texture. The slip on this deep conditioner, y'all. The slip on this is insane. And there are times where I will literally just, while I'm in the shower after shampooing, I will throw a few globs of this in my hair just to get the slip factor, just to detangle, um, just to get the curls moving. And this does what I want it to do for me. So I not only use this as a deep conditioner, but I do kind of use it as a rinse out detangler situation too. And I really like that. I've had people ask me if I use this as a leave-in. I'm not taking protein deep conditioners and leaving it and leaving it in my hair. Like I feel like that's just being a straight up glutton for punishment. As much as people complain about protein overload, like I don't like why 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 would I do that? <laughs> I'm not about to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner that has proper balances of protein that's meant to be left in my hair, not just leave this in my hair. But this is so versatile. It gives moisture, but it is definitely reparative. This is definitely going to plump up your curls. I use this a lot in the summertime because as you guys know, like I previously mentioned, my curls can get kind of mushy from the outward environment and everything. And so I can either deep condition with this or on days where I have to co-wash, I can just use this after using my co-wash and it brings some of that protein back into my hair and my curls kind of snap back without having to do a full a full deconditioning session. So this, y'all, it's so good. One of the best products that Eden Body Works offers. Like, I feel like you really can't go wrong with this if you need some good protein. So like me personally, like if I were in a situation where I had to get rid of everything tomorrow and I could only keep two deconditioners 
that are in that affordable price range, I would keep these two because this really does make the curls snap back and get into formation. And then this is just pure, lovable, touchable moisture. So I would be able to do everything I need with these two. So if I had to have only two inexpensive products and I couldn't have anything else, it would be these two because they balance each other perfectly. Okay guys. That is everything. Those are my six top affordable deep conditioners for natural hair. I hope you enjoyed this. I know quite a few of you, quite a few of these. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already tried, but let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys tried these? And what are your, your favorite affordable deep conditioners? Keep it $10 and under. Help out the fam. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are excited for the rest of this week's offerings and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a fun-filled Garnier wash and go. Bye.